there was a free and fair democratic election, uh, the only nation in the region that will have such a thing. The president should get over it. Get over your temper tantrum, Mr. President. It's time that we work together with our Israeli friends and try to stem this tide of ISIS and Iranian uh, movement throughout the region which is threatening the very fabric of the region. The least of your problems is what Bibi Netanyahu said during an election campaign. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the uh, Tuesday edition of the Steve Malzberg Show. Lots going on. Uh, we have the uh, president uh, standing side by side with the uh, leader of Afghanistan. That's an interesting uh, uh, dynamic and some questions being asked right now. Joining us now, though, is James Woolsey, former director of the CIA, chairman of the Foundation for the Defense of Democracies. Uh, Mr. Woolsey, great to talk to you again, sir. Good to be with you again. All right, let, let, let's talk about Ar Iran. Uh, and before we get to your great piece, When Iran Goes Nuclear, explain this to me, because <laughs> I'm having trouble understanding this, although not really. Um, the uh, White House uh, press uh, spokesman today, Josh Ernest, explained to CNN when asked about the Ayatollah uh, of Iran's statement and chant, Death to America, which he led over the weekend to a huge crowd. Um, according to uh, the White House, uh, that was intended for a domestic audience only. <laughs> I mean, but of course, when Benjamin Netanyahu says they're busing in Arab voters, uh, that makes them public enemy number one. Could you ex what 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 is what kind of president do we have that this is what comes out of their mouths? Well, I think uh, temporarily until he got uh, full control of the country, when uh, Hitler in the early 30s was saying he meant to kill all the Jews and establish an empire over Europe for a thousand years. It was mainly for a uh, domestic uh, audience until he uh, got to control of uh, things more, and uh, then it was meant for everybody. I, I mean, the, the president isn't a stupid man. Um, no, I mean, uh, this is ridiculous. That, that, that is, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> these people aren't like that. This is an ideology. They are fanatics. Uh, the uh, Iranian mullahs uh, really believe that if they can uh, just get the Mahdi uh, to return yep. and uh, go on that road that Ahmadinejad built for him uh, from the well where he went when he was a little boy to go back uh, into Tehran, uh, then uh, they can start the wars that will end uh, uh, the world and, and they, they go, to all heaven. go to heaven and we will all go to hell. Right. That, they which, believe that. Which is why there is no mutually assured destruction element as there was in the, the, the Cold War with the Soviet Union and the threat of missiles, which makes the negotiations and the capitulation to Iran and, and their nuclear program even more unbelievable. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, well, Bernard Lewis, I think our greatest expert on the Arab world and Muslim world, uh, 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 says that uh, mutual assured destruction during the Cold War was a deterrent, uh, but uh, now, at least with respect to these guys, it's an inducement. Yeah, a absolutely. All right, uh, let's talk about what happens. Uh, this agreement is, is horrific, I'm sure you agree. Uh, 6,000 centrifuges, um, uh, uh, an end to the sanctions, uh, an end to the uh, 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 regular arms embargo, um, and, uh, and of course uh, uh, also the, the capacity, 60% of the nuclear capacity remains. After 10 years, the whole deal goes away. What happens when, uh, under this, not if, Iran gets a nuclear weapon? Well, uh as soon as it is clear they are going to have one, even before they have one, and that may be like now, uh, you will have other countries uh, going uh, nuclear, ones that can buy a nuclear weapon, even if they don't have the technology to make it themselves, like, say, Saudi Arabia. Uh, but uh, uh, others, uh, uh, Egypt, uh, 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 once uh, the who is running the country is clear, uh, uh, then uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, Iraq, uh uh, the Mideast will be a cauldron of nuclear states. And the next, and uh, lots of rivalries and hatred, Sunni versus Shia, ISIS uh, uh, versus uh, Iranian-backed terrorists, all of that. And a number of these people will have nuclear weapons. Uh, so the possibility of a crisis, uh, which we have quite a few of in the Middle East, uh, turning uh, nuclear um, and is entirely possible. What can we do? We have two minutes left, so you, you could solve the world's problems right now, Mr. Woolsey. <laughs> what can we do to make sure this doesn't happen with this president, with this mindset, and with what's going to take place? 
Well, this is a terrible uh, agreement as it's uh, taking shape. I must say, unless Iran capitulates and makes some complete change, uh, and uh, the, our negotiators uh, get some backbone and uh, and are able to completely change the agreement, which is just not going to happen, uh, then uh, this will be an agreement that really ought to be under all circumstances, uh, reviewed and voted on by the Congress and rejected by uh, uh, the Congress. It's the only uh, 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 fence left in the way which the administration has to hurdle. But uh, if Congress gets its back up, it, it can, uh, I think, uh, stop this from taking effect. Yeah, and, and, and you, you don't believe, or do, uh, let me re rephrase it, uh, do you believe that the, everything that's happened in the Middle East, I mean, country after country falling in the same way, we're fighting alongside al-Qaeda, uh, we're leaving ISIS basically alone. You believe this is all just a, an incompetent foreign policy, or there's a goal here? It's hard to tell. It's uh, so bad that one has a hard time uh, fighting down dark suspicion. But it, it, is a, uh, uh, it, it, it is a disaster. Uh, That's for sure. <laughs> the uh, Middle East uh, is coming, uh, much of it under the rule, uh, directly and indirectly, of Iran. And Iran is governed by fanatics. And those parts uh, in turmoil uh, where Iran is not uh, in control, you are starting to see ISIS uh, yep. in control. The only difference uh, is that they are Sunni rather than Shia, and they're going to do a lot of yep. things in their own neighborhood, whereas uh, Iran may range a bit further. Mr. Woolsey, great to talk to you, sir. Thank you very much. Good to talk to you. Good All up. right, James Woolsey. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have uh, Tim Yulskamp join us next. Don't go away.